Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, it is a great day. Bitcoin has reached its all-time high and I sold. I'm going to tell you exactly why I did it, but first, we got to go over a couple of new things. So first of all, 12 days of Christmas, we gave away a Nano Ledger yesterday and we needed to give one away today. So yesterday we had a quick little video. We talked about the Bitcoin price uh, going to 50K in 2030, which I think is ridiculous, but whatever. And uh, I just had people just do this. I had you guys do this. I said, just put in the uh, comments uh, the words ledger and then just rattle off one of the sayings that I usually do on the channel. And uh, that was all I asked for. And then we'll uh, draw a winner right now. Now, before when I grabbed the uh, Nano Ledger X uh, winner, before I would go to the very bottom uh, for the 12 days of Christmas, then I went to the very top. So today, let's just go right in the middle and we'll just scroll down. But and here it is, Mitch Ridge and he states ledger. I could be wrong. I'm wrong all the time. Just ask my wife. And yes, I do say that quite a bit. So Mitch Ridge, all you got to do is go to uh, danteachescrypto.com. Click on the contact tab right there. Send me an email, verify your information, and I'll get you out that Nano Ledger X. So congratulations. Now let's move on today because it is the 16th of December. And let's talk about the extra wallet. For grabs today on the 12 days of Christmas is the extra premium wallet. What I like about this wallet is that uh, I will never lose it because it has an RFID chip inside and I can track it from anywhere. So if you've ever lost your wallet, you know exactly how important that this feature actually is. Also, it carries up to six of my cards. I can't pay everything with cryptocurrency, so I'll be using debit and credit until they allow me. Also, less bulky, very nice. Uh, I do like this wallet. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can win this wallet today by doing a couple easy steps. All right, so like I talked about, I mean, these extra wallets, they're pretty cool. They come in two different flavors, uh, leather and of course the metal one like I got. But uh, I just like to uh, use this thing, take it out and then boom, got all my cards right there. Very easy and if I lose it, I can always track it. So I like that part. So to win today's uh, giveaway, all you gotta do is just in the uh, description or in the uh, comments below, just put in extra, E-K-S-T-E-R and I'll draw the giveaway and you'll get one of these uh, sweet wallets. All right. And then lastly, if you didn't win this drawing, no big deal. Just go over to danteachescrypto.com forward slash Christmas. There, the link is actually in the description below and you can click on extra and uh, go over there and pick one up for yourself. And it's a great stocking stuffer. So that's all I got to do. Just put in extra in the comments below and we'll draw one uh, later in the day. So this is what we got going on. Bitcoin, all time high. Fantastic, right? Everybody was waiting for this. This is great news over 20,000. I have never seen this number before and you never have either because it's never been done. And I think uh, Bitcoin's going to go way higher. I think I have a, a uh, set price around 150,000 by the end of 2021. That is my conservative price. Some people say 300, some people say 500,000, which I think is crazy, but it could happen, definitely. Who knows, but uh, I'm very conservative and uh, I think 150. So why did I sell today? Well, it really comes down to this. Um, you have to be disciplined. And since I started this channel, one of my very first videos was my Bitcoin exit strategy. And I've been talking about this for a long time. And really what it comes down to is just like Jocko Williams says, the Navy SEAL, discipline equals freedom. When you do not have discipline, everything is in chaos and you let your emotions run everything. So there's a reason why I do the things I do. There's a reason why I wake up so early every day. And the reason why I do all these things, you know, I work out and I, I do my work and I, I try to push myself. And it's because I have discipline. I, now I fail sometimes no one's perfect but in this situation i have to have my composure and i have to maintain discipline and that is why i sold 10 percent of my bitcoin holdings and i took profit and it was hard because you know you never want to really sell because the emotions come into play and you start to think to yourself ah it'll go up it'll go up well um what if it doesn't I mean, it, it very well could. It go to 30000 tomorrow. This is cryptocurrency. But what if it doesn't? So if you don't, then you let your emotions rule you, and then you'll never get anything under control. So this is what I have. Now, if new information comes in where, you know, something crazy like the U.S. government's like, hey, we're just we're getting off the whole dollar standard. We're going right to Bitcoin. 
then this would probably change. But for right now, this is what I have, the best information that I have, and this is what I'm gonna stick with. And really on top of that, there's three reasons why I sold. And the first one is that you have to understand that since 2017, 2016, people have been holding on to their crypto for quite a long time. If they're like me and they held on, they didn't just get out, they're chomping at the bit to sell. I guarantee there is a lot of people in the same position that I am that are like, should I sell? Because I didn't do it last time and I missed out, but geez, this thing is really different. All these institutions are there. My friend George was with me at this time and he just called me this morning. He's like, hey man, talk me out of selling everything. And I was like, don't you sell everything, George. Don't you be stupid. We talked about this. <laughs> of course, I just told him just sell 10% if, that, if that's what makes you happy. Okay, man, I'll sell 10%. So then, you know, it goes off with that. But you have to understand, there's a lot of people like me and George and they're out there and they're going to start selling. And I think there's going to be a little bit of a retracement. That's just normal, right? Who's going to buy it up? I'll tell you who's going to buy it up. Uh, maybe somebody like you, or more obviously, it's going to be MicroStrategy. It's going to be PayPal. It's going to be Grayscale. It's going to be Galaxy Digital. It's going to be a bunch of institutions. We're going to get in there and be like, hey, thanks. You know, we really want this uh, Bitcoin. But remember, it's also hard for them too, because we've never had these prices before. But I'll let them do that, and I'll hold on to the rest of my Bitcoin and other holdings right now. But that is one of the reasons why I did it. On top of that, this is a volatile market. Any bad news that comes out, if there's some stupid news from some exchange owner who's like, you know, the government might do this and da da da, it's gonna tumble again because people are fearful. We've never been to this this point. So I think any bad news that's gonna come out, I mean, really moderate, it, it could send the whole thing to a tumble a little bit below 20,000, just like that. We're in a very fragile place and there's not really any support. So uh, we will see. And then also you have to remember, uh, this is a regular market uh, event. You hit all, you hit all time highs. And you don't just go to fifty thousand just like in a couple of days. It's jagged. It goes up and down and all around. And we can see that right here. I mean, look, very jagged. There is no straight up line up down up up down up down and off you go so do i see a little bit of a pullback sure i, I can definitely see that and not just me i mean this was a, a quick video uh, alex mashinsky he was on kitco news and he talks about you know where he thinks things are going to go and uh, just take a listen in the next two to three months uh, i see us again testing uh 20 to 22 000, four or five times retesting 15 to 16 thousand and then towards the second half of uh, next year of 2021, we'll be at the 30,000 range. Okay, that's crazy. No, it's not that crazy. So this was just on December 3rd. And I'm, I'm sure people were like, yeah, it seems about right, right? To hit 20,000. I think we, were all, we all knew we were going to go there. But the interesting thing is to retest 15,000 or 16,000. Could that happen? I have no idea. I do not have a crystal ball and nobody does. And anybody who tells you that they do or that they can time the tops is full of it. So again, just maintain your discipline and have a plan of action because if you're not planning, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. And just have something in place and do not let your emotions rule you because that's what happened to me and I will, I'll be damned if I let that happen again. And then the other thing is that it's nice to take profits every so often because you can sit back and go, okay, I don't have everything invested in there and I have things in my bank account. And I know some people will say, well, trash is, or cash is trash, but you have to understand, I mean, that's really how I pay my bills. I don't know how you pay your bills, but that's how I do it. And it works out pretty well. And then I can do cool stuff like this. Now, remember, I mean, I just made 4,000. That's a pretty good deal. So I'm going to donate to charity. You don't have to do this. This is just something that I like to do because I feel like I should give back a little bit. This is one of my favorite charities. I've got two. Dog is my co-pilot. This is where they take dogs that are in high kill shelters and transport them around the country to other areas which have a low dog population and people are actually able to adopt. So I will donate to them gladly again. I'm going to click on donate here and then I'll click on, I'm going to click on the 250. Sure. And, uh, I'll put all my details in, which I will not have you watch me. And voila, I am done. 250 to one of my favorite uh, charities. Also, the other one is UNICEF. Now, if you don't know UNICEF, they go to war torn countries. They go to places that have already just been decimated. And they help out starving and really sick children. So, I mean, I could totally get behind that, right? So let's, and then there is one thing about uh, all these charities. If you ever want to look up and see like, well, are they legit? You know, how much is actually going, how much of my money is going to the actual charity organization? There's a great website. It's called charitywatch.org. 
You can look up any of the uh, big charities out there and you can see how much is actually going to the charity and how much is actually going to like the CEOs and the workers and the overhead. And this one, they give uh, UNICEF an A. Uh, so, you know, 84% or 12 for every hundred bucks you put in, uh, $84 goes to the actual charity. So I can get behind that. So let's do this. Let's put in uh, 250 again, right? And we'll click on donate and support and I'll cover the processing fee. Let me pay with the credit card. And then I'm gonna put my information in again. Sorry, I can't let you see that. And voila, 250 uh, to UNICEF goes goes for a good cause. You don't have to do any of this. I'm just saying that's what I do. I just feel like um, when you make things, uh, you know, and you give to charity or you give to a charitable uh, donations, uh, it usually comes back on you tenfold. That's just my philosophy. All right, so that's it. So uh, thanks for hanging with me till the end. Uh, remember, if you want to win that uh, cool extra wallet like I've got, uh, just put an extra, E-K-S-T-E-R, in the comments section. And uh, that is it. We'll draw it later today when we do the long version of our show. And uh, that is all. So thanks again for watching. appreciate it. And I'll see you uh, on the next one, which will be later today.